Wooden pallets, we all know them. Even if you hardly give them a second glance, the simple platforms used to transport goods and stack them in warehouses are generally regarded as little more than a few pieces of wood nailed together. It may come as a surprise that pallets are actually worth a deeper look. And not only since they have lately become trendy upcycling objects in community spaces, living rooms and art galleries. One of these areas in which recycled wooden pallets are being extensively used is the construction of wooden beds. Hello, hello dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you recycled wood pallet bed design ideas. This video contains a collection of surprisingly beautiful yet strong and practical wooden pallet bed design ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to a local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Even if the history of the pallet doesn't, strictly speaking, extend all the way back to ancient Egypt, there are indications that wooden slates and skids were used as early as the first millennium before Christ. These were employed for transporting construction materials weighing multiple tons across hot desert sands, such as for building monuments like the pyramids. In the centuries that followed, people experimented and seizingly with various methods of transporting and storing goods, from boxes and barrels to crates and socks. Major efficiency improvements had to wait until the introduction of the first standardized transport containers, such as the predecessors of today's international freight containers and the invention of the forklift at the start of the 20th century, which is sparkingly a true which sparked a true revolution in goods transport and storage systems. The Clark Equipment Company in the United States patented the first forklift in 1920. However, another logistics innovation was needed before the full potential of the new machine could be unleashed. In 1924, Howard T. Howell submitted the first patent under the name of Lift Truck Platform and others followed through the 1930s, during which the transport pallet slowly evolved into its current form. In the end, it was the tragic conflict of World War II that finally cemented the global success of transport pallets as well as forklifts. After the war broke out, it quickly became clear that rapid transport and efficient warehousing of goods, foods and weapons would play a decisive role. Recognizing this, above all, the United States of America and its allies invested in logistical innovations. The forklift found its way into the heart of military logistics strategy. In a short time, standardized pallet sizes were introduced for all allied nations to simplify and accelerate maritime shipping and the transport of goods across borders. In 1945, Robert Brown invented the first four-way pallet, 
a flat wooden pallet that could be easily picked up from any side using motorized transport equipment such as forklifts and pallet trucks. The rise of mass production and the increasing international trade in goods caused demand for cheap, efficient transport pallets so skyrocket, to skyrocket. The system had proven its usefulness and was eventually broadly adopted as a result. When you look at the history of beds, one of the many benefits of living in today's world is the simple delight of sleeping in between soft sheets on a supportive, comfortable mattress when it is time for your night's repose. But what if instead of your favorite memory foam pillow, you laid your head on a pillow made of stone at night? If you had lived far enough in the past, this wouldn't be, fan this wouldn't be fantasy, this would be your reality. While the basics, a cushioned spot to rest and to stay warm through the night have remained the same throughout history, the details of what, was const what constitutes a bed has changed quite a bit through the millennia. Your mattress is considered old after around seven years, but according to the National Geographic, the oldest known bed in the world it was discovered in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa and dates back 77,000 years. Basically, it consisted of layers of plant material gathered into mats, which were periodically burned, perhaps to eliminate pests. The bed was around 12 inch thick and whooping 22 feet square, providing plenty of room for the entire family. Leaves provided a cozy top sheet and possibly also aided in keeping away bugs. During the 18th century, Beds became simpler in style, although still often surrounded by heavy curtains. While beds were still usually made of wood, metal, bed frames were starting to become popular as well. Cotton stuffed mattress replaced down hay, although they were still suspended in the bed frame with a system of wool straps or ropes. One of the biggest changes during the 18th century, however, was the concept of bedroom as a private space for sleep became firmly entrenched throughout all classes of society. No longer did royalty or the wealthy receive visitors in their bedroom, and it was no longer typical to have servants sleeping on the bedroom floor. During the 19th century, bedrooms became more like ones we enjoy today, mostly devoted to sleep or sex. Although, if you were a woman during this time, you would probably use, also use your bedroom for giving birth. The heavy curtains of earlier centuries faded away although four poster beds were still very popular. By the late 1800s, however, the posters were typically much smaller and headboards and footboards also shrunk accordingly. One striking advance to the bed during this time was the invention of metal bed springs to support the mattress, instead of ropes or wool straps. While this gave more support and stability to the mattress, they were also annoyingly squawky. The 20th century was a busy time for bed inventions. The Murphy bed and the water bed were both invented and rose in popularity during this era. But those certainly weren't the only mattress improvements. The, only mo the two most common types of mattress today, inter inner spring and memory foam, were both developed during the 20th century. Although they had been invented decades earlier, it wasn't until the 1950s that inner spring mattresses skyrocketed in popularity to become by far the most common type of mattress. This ushered in the use of box spring platforms to hold the mattress, creating a far more comfortable and supportive bed than those used in the earlier times.
By the 1960s, mattress and pillows were often made of foam instead of cotton or wool. Temporal Pedic sold the first memory foam mattress in the United States in 1992. Memory foam mattress have high rates of customer satisfaction. Today you have more choices than ever before when it comes to your mattress and the style of bed. In a spring memory foam hybrids, latex and air are just some of the mattress types available, while platform beds and four po posters are still very popular styles. There are many other types of bed, wrought iron, sleigh, bunk, loft and futon to name a few. The bed has come a long way since the earliest grass lined pits, but the basic concept is unchanged. A comfortable, safe and cozy spot to sleep and restore your energies through the night. In today's economy, businesses and institutions recycle pallets because it saves them money on waste disposal costs. Recycling also helps conserve valuable resources, reduce pollution from production of new materials, and creates jobs. Wooden pallets can be reused again and again, and eventually a worn-out pallet will be utilized as energy for heating. Pallets can and should be reused to the greatest extent possible. Several creators have made different products by recycling wooden pallets. One area of such wooden pallet recycling is in the making of bed frames. Recycling pallets will give you one of the cheapest yet good quality beds. Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting and practical wooden bed, wooden pallet bed design ideas for your inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your projects from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Our YouTube analytics show that more than 90% of our viewers are not subscribed to our channel. Thus, we urge you to please subscribe and join our community. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.